Hello viewers, here is a Marvin window VN. This is a dual model. The number is 210. One point four amps. It's two point seven amp motors. This is kind of an interesting model because this one is a few inches larger than the uh, what seems to be the more common size, which is maybe six inch fans. I think this one is an eight here it's a 10 and despite a pretty big difference in the blade size it would appear to use the same motor uh, just for example let me grab one maybe I don't Come on. here is the smaller one and you can see the motor is the same size but the blade is significantly smaller and in fact this one is rated for uh, 0.7 amps as well which is curious because power draw should certainly be different with that big of a discrepancy of blade size also curious this one, I believe, if I recall correctly, the motors on these run a fair bit cooler than the smaller ones. So I almost wonder if this is a more appropriate load for the motor. I guess a check of the power draw would provide some insight to that. This one, uh, I really can't remember where I picked it up. I want to say, you know, I really can't remember. Huh? I just don't remember. I have some pretty old videos of this from back when I got it, probably 10 years ago or so, around that range. So I ought to look back at those videos. Maybe I set it on there. But uh, I remember seeing something like this, of this size, and this, no, well not quite this color, a little bit of a lighter color, at a local uh, plants nursery store. That was after I had the, um, the screen version. I'm quite fond of these and all the different variants. One of the first uh, vintage fans I remember buying was the actually that one that I just showed the screen one I'll do a separate video on that one I remember getting it at a tag sale I had went to with my grandfather and uh, I think we paid a whopping two beans for the fee and of course this is back in like I don't know maybe 2006 or something like that and at that same tag sale No, I guess it wasn't. Was it at that t at the same tag sale? I guess it wouldn't have been, because you know what? I don't remember now. Maybe it wasn't at that tag sale. Maybe I'm getting confused with the Emerson heat fan. I don't remember where the thing came from. I just don't. But it was one of the first ones I had, and I really liked it. I thought it was cool because it, these fans have such a simple kind of industrial styling to them. Very simple design. The blades are kind of cool looking like the old Dayton VNs at a circular design. And they're pretty powerful and effective for what they are. I think these are probably, uh, no, they are by far the most powerful window fans of the size. They move a ton more air than those plastic homes ones do they're not necessarily quiet but they, they move a lot more air for the noise than the those plastic ones do from homes 
here's the switch. It is a uh, off high low. It's a two speed, but really that's not. It's not changing the speed of the motor. It just turns one fan off and creates low and puts both on for high. It's a non-polarized plug. I believe these were a product of the 80s and uh, they were pretty cheap. The uh, I've actually had, uh, this one looks okay right now. I can see it's starting to have an issue. There's no, um, there's no strain relief here. I don't know if there originally was and it just disintegrated over the years or if there never was. But there's no strain relief and so this just kind of freely moves around. And the problem with that is eventually the uh, one of the leads or both will snip, will break off and then it just shorts and sparks. I've had that happen once on uh, one of the other units that I have. So that was kind of eventful. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead and power this thing on. Another cheap element to these things was the bearings. They are a bit difficult to keep properly lubricated. And uh, I suppose the motor is pretty standard sized. I bet you could take uh, one of those um, one of those Fasco bathroom fan motors or the new tone motors and mount them on there and it probably would be a similar size perhaps I don't know how the mounting schema works though it may not be quite that straightforward but I haven't seen many of these fail uh, really just the bearings lock up or become noisy another thing I like or that draws me to these was uh, I remember Back when I first started peeping YouTube, one of the first fan videos I had watched was that video of UXW Bill that he showed, uh, not the same model, but he showed one of these fans in that video, and so I kind of thought it was neat to have one. Okay, so we're looking at 120.5 volts. We'll go over to the amps. And we'll start it up on high, and we'll see um, see how it works. Uh, the bearings could be locked up. I'm not sure. That's actually a lot quieter than I remember it. And I really enjoy that metallic sound it has to it and it's at 1.3 amps so it's right on where it should be uh, these are rated for 110 to 120 so we're up at 120 and it's still within an acceptable draw so perhaps uh, these these larger blades are a better load for these motors Quite strong. And it moves a really good breeze. And it's nowhere near as loud as I remembered. And this even blows away those cheap plastic window fans at high speed. And look at that, it really moves the air. And of course, being a 10 inch fan, not an 8 like those plastic ones, the air volume of this is probably pretty decent. And I can feel a lot of air moving around this. Well, not bad. It's not in perfect balance. The left, actually, they're both kind of out. Nothing crazy, um, but definitely not perfect. This is a stereo camera, so you may be able to hear it the way I'm hearing it if I hold it like this.
the two motors make a really neat kind of harmonizing sound as the vibration from the motor resonates through all the metal housing and the metal blades. Really enjoy the sound of the spin. Okay, that's 101 watts and the power factor of 0.65. It is a two pole shaded pole motor. And there's the low. And that one motor by itself is drawing 0.63 amps, 61 or 62.1 the watts, and a power factor of 0.81, which is quite high for a shaded pole. Should be able to feel better now with the balances. Yeah, it's not perfect, but it's not outrageously out of line either. This is kind of a vibrating fee, and it always has been. You know, they're they're just they're cheap, but you know, the cheap of 50 or 40 years ago, even 30 years ago, was still pretty acceptable compared to what we get today which is just unacceptable. Yeah, the motors don't seem underpowered at all. And the bearings seem to be in pretty decent condition, too. Well, there's that, the Marvin 210. Really great window fan for the size.